Hey guys, Clumsy here. Welcome back to Clumsy Trucking Friday. Happy Chinese New Year. Happy Lunar New Year, guys. If you are celebrating that, it's a holiday here in Singapore. Where's the Swiss pick? <laughs> How's everyone doing? Thanks for joining. How are you guys? <clears throat> Good morning, good evening. Oh, that's a bit loud, isn't it? It's, there you go. It's a bit more manageable. A bit like Mortal Kombat music there. Thanks for joining, guys. Who do we have in chat? We have Patrick. I seeing you here as well. <laughs> How was Jack stream? Did he manage the logs? Hey, big boy, GG. Welcome, welcome. Glad you made it. And L, yes. Finally was able to get here live. Thankfully. No more assignments. Green light. Thanks for popping in before bed. Hopefully it would be a night like uh, a nice nightcap. And Scotsman the Ever First is here for sure. <laughs> Train Amsterdam and Disney Plus. How are things going? Bought any sales yet? Bought any DLCs from the sales? I think there is a sale right now. Lunar New Year. <clears throat> Robloxians, how are you? Happy Friday indeed. Thanks, man. Hey, Hasib. Glad you made it. Ah, how do we pronounce your name? Welcome to the stream. Uh, can I call you Oni? That's the readable part I can do. <laughs> 5 a.m. there. Yikes. Steam sale. There you go. So for today, guys, we are going with ATS modded profile. Most of the mods are working so far. I might have done this the wrong way though. One second. I currently have this set up for triple monitors. One second. Give me a sec while I configure this. Single monitors setup. There you go. Let's see if that works better. Hey, Deso. Welcome back. Let's see if you guys can see that. There we go. That should be working. Perfect. All right. So in terms of mods, what do we have? We have a modded profile. We are in 1.40 beta. We have my favorite speed limit for phone GPS because we're driving with the Freightliner Cascadia today with the phone GPS on the side. Other mods, sound fix looks like it's not compatible yet with 1.40 so we won't be having any of that. Thankfully all the other mods, the air brakes, the rain and wiper noise, the engine sounds themselves, they are working. And we will be using something from Krishbom, I believe. I think it's a Cummins X15 that's installed on the Cascadia right now. But the real star of the show for this stream will be the updated Chihuahua Beta 6. New areas here and it is compatible with 1.40 already. So we will go and check those out. I had to remove some other mods though and some of these I won't even want to touch because I doubt they are compatible. If you are using John Ruda's um, trucks, I highly recommend you remove them for now because they can make things bad even if you're not using the truck itself. Like, you know that part with the, what was it, um, the, the light flares that comes with John Ruda? If you keep that in, even if you don't use his truck, all the blinkers and the brake lights, they will have super bright lights. Not realistic at all. So I had to remove that. Everything else seems to be okay-ish though, but we'll see and we'll adjust as needed when we get there, okay? Doing good, Hasib, doing good. Enjoying the holiday. One second. That camera seems a bit too high. Let's adjust it. That seems a bit better. There we go, that should work. 
<clears throat> hey Adrian, sound fixes is updated for 140 in the SES forums. Ah, that's good to know. All right, we'll get that in a bit if we have time. But let's see if we'll uh, need it first. That's good to know though. I guess the 140 SES workshop uploader isn't working quite yet. So I couldn't put it in the Steam workshop. Thanks for the tip. There's the truck. The Cascadia. Thanks, Railfan. Welcome as well. Yar, blah. You guys finish? You guys manage the job? The logging job in SnowRunner? We were playing SnowRunner a while ago. Uh, where are we right now? Well, at least we can see the beautiful reflections from 1.40 beta. 9 p.m. Currently in Denver. But if you look at the map here, where is it? So here we go. We should be able to see. Ah, there it is. There it is. So all these new areas. So if you look in Arizona, before I think the connection was where? Nogales? Now they have a new town, Douglas. So from Sierra Vista, there's a new town in, in Arizona, which is Douglas. And that should be the border itself, I think, with all these way stations. That's where the, like, the border inspection thing is. And then from there, the map goes wild with all these funky mountain routes. So you can see the background, all mountainous areas, and you can see the wavy bits. So that seems a bit more like Mexico Extremo in a way, right? But yeah, we'll see. We'll see how we can change that or how we can go there. So it might be apt to go and teleport to one of these places, look for a job there. But first, I think we'll have to change the time. So if we go for truck sim here and use my time macro, there we go. So that's at 6 a.m. And then let's go for a job. Let's look for a job somewhere nearby. Tucson, Sierra Vista would be ideal as we can get right on it. But Tucson might be good so that we can get a bit of a warm up. And then we can pick something that goes to the south, like Hermosillo. Or uh, El Paso. No, that's something different. <clears throat> hey, Oni. Thanks for joining, man. How are you? Hey, super. How have you been, man? Glad you managed to join today. How are things with you guys? Have you been trucking? Testing out 1.40, checking out other maps, mods, games. How's it been? Or have you been busy with real life? Valparaiso. Wow. That looks pretty interesting. Although I'm not a huge fan of the trailer, I would rather just do like a, either a double trailer maybe. There's nothing here, I think. So let's pick another one. Clifton, maybe we can find something there. Uh, cheater. Not yet. Not yet. An anonymous gifter. Gifted a tier 1 sub to NL. Nice. Congrats, NL. Thank you, anonymous gifter. Is that his name? Or is that does that just mean it's anonymous? Can you actually gift anonymously? Anyway, thank you. For the gift. And welcome to the Cool Kids Club, NL. <laughs> uh, we can also go San Simon. San Simon, Tucson. Okay, even Phoenix would be okay. Just somewhere in this vicinity. So we can explore this area. So let's go and see if we can find any nice jobs from there. Uh, Arizona, San Simon. There we go. Sonora. Mexico. I think some of these areas were old Viva Mexico areas. I'm not so sure. But yeah, I, as you can see, I don't even have Viva Mexico here anymore. I just chose not to enable it at all. 10 tons of hay. 
going to Zacatecas in Mexico. I think I can work with that, but instead of going to the east there, we can go to the west and go through some of the new areas. That will take longer, but that might actually be a bit more interesting. I can try that, San Simon. <clears throat> try looking inside the cargo market where we don't have a trailer. We'll have to pick a trailer first. Yeah, I think we can go with that one. Let's see. Hey, James. Oh, 6 a.m. lighting. I like it. So we go to... Where? San Simon? There you go. Alright, so where are we headed here? Somewhere... Well, let's start here. Let's refuel and then at the very least, let's drive to the destination, to the pickup point. So it's not full cheating, just halfway there or like three-fourths of the way. Good. Oh, I'm missing the sound fixes mod already. That might be something that we had to enable. 1.40. Yeah, we won't hear that clinging. Oh yeah, that's a bit sad, but it's not too bad. All right, let's fix that first. 66 for single monitor trucking. That should be okay right there. Yeah, that works for me. And this is the Cummins X15 engine sounds, I believe. Half cheater. <laughs> outside the room for three seconds and you get a gifted sub. Sometimes you get lucky. I'll take it. Now, one thing to check. One thing to double check. Is the job we are looking for going to expire? Okay, six hours. We should be good there. All right. And that kind of blends well with our truck colors as well. So that should be fine. Keep your eyes peeled, guys. Let me know when you spot something nice or something weird. Something too reflective. Well, that looks like that has been updated. We'll see later when it's daytime because I was driving with this truck with this exact setup few days ago I was testing out if modded profile works and I noticed that the reflections on Sissel's accessories were bugged it's too bright like the white the, the water bottles there you couldn't see them because it was shining like white all over but that looks better today and I'm not sure if that's because it's just dark outside still if there was an, upda an update or if Sissel updated his is uh, mod already. Yar. <clears throat> you never finish Jack Ran out of fuel in time. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds realistic enough in the snow runner world, huh? Let me see if I missed any messages. I think we're good. That's one of the new updates as well. I believe they increased the sounds of the trains, which is very nice in my opinion. That's a nice, very subtle lighting. Where is it coming from? They have been releasing a couple of updates for ETS2 and ATS the past couple of days, SCS has been very active. They have been very active at tweaking, fixing bugs, tweaking the lighting and whatnot. So I'm not sure what exactly has changed. But I'm liking it so far. bit too quiet at the usual suspects. It's okay, let's warm up. 
we'll see later if things start taking shape. <laughs> Speaking of the devil. Told you guys to keep quiet so he doesn't know we're live. <laughs> ah, there we go. The duo, Aldorf and Sattler, are here. Present. Should we say the trio? <laughs> the tree? Oh. <laughs> Alex, Jack, and Blah are here. That can work. 34 months, my goodness. GG. Thanks, Jack. Appreciate it. No XV here. Unsub. Is that. Why does that seem like it's a different color? Shouldn't that be green? Not sure if it's because of the lighting or one of the side effects of the new update. Yeah, it should be that color, I believe. Green and blue. Instead, it became... Oh, it is still green and blue, just a bit reflective from the sun. Man, that is a beautiful sunrise. Did they change anything there? This is looking more and more like NL. That looks beautiful. No, <laughs> logs fell on you. That wouldn't be too far from the truth, I think. Logs fell on me a while ago as well. <laughs> That's why I, I semi rage quit, I guess you could say. Chip van. Chip van, 10 tons of hay. How does that work? Like the hay has been ground or something? This new Amsterdam. GG Jack. I really like this engine sound. It's very stable, you know, it's nothing exotic, it's nothing fancy, like nothing screaming at you, but it just sounds so so bassy and so pure. I think it's perfect for those long hauls. You don't want like that pure open pipe kind of Thing screaming at you for hours and hours on end. Just want something that really purrs. A very bassy purr. By the way, you guys notice, Hope Trucker is back. That must be one of the bug fixes that they included in the recent beta update. Hope Trucker has just appeared. Because previously, we forgot to put in the definition files I guess for the Hope Trucker accessory. I can imagine they made the event, the, the COVID-19 vaccine event in the world of trucks but at the same time they were already developing 1.40 in parallel so when they released 1.40 beta that probably didn't have this like the Hope Trucking event there. So different branches so now they have to merge those branches something like that i imagine oh one sec i have to reroute otherwise we won't be going through the new areas let's go through here and then there in douglas and then through uh that looks pretty interesting let's go through there and then let's go south wow this is really out of the way that it's actually even if i'm going way down here already it still doesn't want me to to go through here. It wants me to go back. Well, that's okay. We can force it bit by bit. There still doesn't. Uh, how about this one? Still don't want to. How about that? <laughs> it won't want me to go through any of these. I think. There we go. Does that work? No, still not. That's a bit weird. One, two, three. Ah, no, 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 no. One, two, three. That's a bit of a weird thing. It wants me to go back the entire way. You remove that. There we go. That's more like it. That's more like it. One, two, three. Remove that. There you go. 
There we go. That's more like it. Okay, that should be a good preview of the new areas. We won't be able to touch everything, but that should be a good start. Let's get to it. And now because it's daytime, we can't see the headlights anymore, which is a very normal thing, right? Fine. Later in tunnels though, I would hope we see it better. Oh man, that looks so good. Let's take a photo once we make this turn. And the performance is silky smooth. Okay. There we go. Hey, Sparksaw! This is the problem though. This is one of the requests. I was looking at the forums the other day. This is one of the requests that people were making. Like, you know that exposure thing? When you face the sun, when you face uh, something bright, it adjusts, everything else goes dark, which makes sense. And that's automatically adjusted. But when you're taking a photo like this, sometimes you want more control over the exposure. So the request is to add like an exposure slider here. So you can manually tune exposure, just like how it is in like the iPhones, right? You can lock exposure, you can tune it. Because here, like that photo would have been very nice, but because it's so dark, it doesn't look nice anymore. <clears throat> thing, you really, thing you really like about Chihuahua is the twisty roads. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Hopefully nothing too hardcore though, otherwise we're doomed. Doesn't look too dramatic yet. I'll take a photo later instead. Let's get going. Lighting gets better and better the more you see it. Yeah, it's very natural, very pleasing to the eyes. It's not very photo friendly though, photo mode friendly, because it's too too natural looking that it gets dark sometimes. Like like look here. Here it's very nice, very bright outside, but once you go out like this, everything becomes dull. And I think that's something to do with the exposure adjustments. I think the interior looks beautiful, but the exterior looks a bit dull. Yeah, it might have something to do with that automatic adjustment. So taking photos at the moment is not very dramatic. But the actual experience itself, especially inside the truck, I love it. That looks so good. <clears throat> yeah, lighting gets better and better with each update, that's true. Also, how's the volume, guys? Is it too loud? The engine? Let me know so I can adjust. In case you can't hear me anymore, let me know, okay? Because we do like the engine sound there to hear the engine sound properly but not so much that it actually covers the voice volume sound good to you awesome thanks alex what <laughs> ban <laughs> Looks better than the ice you have outside. Oh my goodness. How are the temperatures like where you guys live? Here, I think it's currently, I don't know, it feels like 33. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Hope that the signs in Douglas used the clear view font of Arizona signage rather than the normal highway gothic font. You know, Paz uses Clearview when working with AZ. Oh, I, pro I wouldn't be able to tell the difference, but thankfully, you're here, so you let me know when we get there. Or have you seen it already? And you're saying that it's not yet correctly set to the right font. Engine volume check. Good. Negative 2, negative 7, oh my goodness. 
And is it snowing in addition? Yikes. By the way guys, for those who are with us here on the stream, or if you're watching this in YouTube after this gets posted, feel free to join the Discord server, exclamation point Discord gets you there. And I'm recently testing out a new feature in the server. The cool kids can actually stream now and share gameplay with each other, either with or without voice. If you want to have like some commentary, some voice chat with the with the folks while you're streaming, that's good. If you like to just play and share your gameplay without any voice or without anyone being able to speak and maybe just chatting, that's also good. So there are two channels there for the cool kids to stream. So if you're a Twitch sub, if you're a patron, or if you're a server booster, that can be a thing. I'm looking forward to what you guys will be streaming. It's a good way to share different games. And I blame Jack for all of this because he influenced me. He was streaming on the road over at Discord at one point and it was a great way to like check out new games, stay in touch and things like that. So I think it would be good for the channel and good for the community overall. <clears throat> it's nice compared to what you forecasted. Zero degrees Fahrenheit. What is zero degrees Fahrenheit in Celsius? I can never get the computation in my head. Yikes. Alex streaming? Oh, that will be the day. <laughs> An anonymous gifter. There we go. I think that's uh, whoever is that guy. If that's the same guy, thank you. Welcome back to the Cool Kids Club, Scotsman. <laughs> <laughs> Stream away your train sim over in Discord. Would love to see what you guys are playing there. And in case you don't have mics, not everyone has a mic, not everyone has that kind of setup. But you just want to share your gameplay, that can be a thing. Just stream on the no voice channel. So people know what to expect. ETS stream the other day. Oh really? I didn't know he streamed. Wow, nice. That's great. Thanks for using the channel. I did not either. You've not seen anything new that Team Reform has made. Okay, cool. Alright. Once we get there, you let me know, okay? If the font is good. Too green for Arizona. <laughs> Where's all the desert? Yeah, so in terms of graphics mods, guys, I have none. This is base lighting, base textures. I do have a real company mod. Forgot who, who remade it, the one originally from P16. I have some trailer mods as well. So you can see real companies here. Yeah, Chevron. Disney stream incoming. Oh no. <laughs> Ban. <clears throat> Wayne's World. Eight months now? Oh yeah, eight months. That's true. Cool. Alex has streamed. Nice. Zero Fahrenheit is negative 18 Celsius. My goodness. When you stick your tongue out, does it freeze? <laughs> At that point. What happened to that mountain there? Probably a victim of distance. No, it looks like 
doesn't look like draw distance related might be a graphical bug have we entered um, team reforma areas already is this area team reforma already how about that sign how does it look The lighting looks very different for outside and inside. I'm not sure why. You guys think it's the exposure or is there something more happening? Yeah, look at this. Here it's a bit... I love the lighting here. Here it's a bit reddish, yellowish. Like the old tint from the game. Here it's like proper white balance. Hmm, interesting. Reforma modify this area a bit. When you leave this town, it's all Reforma awesome. Thanks, then we should be near there soon. Let's go ahead and check out the zoo. Yeah, we are entering Douglas. So that should be all part of the new area already. Untinted windows. So yeah, that's a good point. Let's see if it changes. It's still the same. Yeah, so it's really a different lighting inside versus outside like this. Very, very ironic, right? It's more vibrant when you're inside than outside. And this is a default SES truck, so shouldn't be because of the truck. Shouldn't be because of a mod, ideally. That are left here. <clears throat> there we go. Hey, thanks for dropping by. That's my brother right there. <laughs> Thank you. Happy CNY. To get out of Sierra Vista, you're on Reforma. Ah, there we go. There's a banner there. Welcome to our project. Exactly. That's the one. Nice. 35 here though. Slow down a bit. Some problems with the mountains there, I think. Yeah, some floating bits. Not sure if that is like 1.40 affected. Or just some bug fixing more to do. <clears throat> Looks like a very hilly area. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> you got the wrong guy. Yes, exactly, 21. Thanks, Alex. Oh, this is nice. I like this. Cliff in tunnel action. Shall we test the lights inside the tunnel? No, there is nothing. What should be the right thing here, guys? What is the right behavior? Should we expect lights there or not? Should we expect to see beams there? A very small matter, a very small subject, but we like to bicker around these types of things. And it looks like I will be taking my photo somewhere here because this looks like a bridge. Thanks, Kat. Disney Plus as a birthday gift. I like the sound of that. When is it releasing in SG again? Scotsman knows more <laughs> than I do <laughs> because he's getting his commission when I get my subscription. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Asib. Thanks, NL. Feb 23. So that's next week. Cool. Well, I'll be definitely getting it at least for a month. 
We'll see if I'm sticking with it. Do you remember how much? How much this is the subscription and how much is your commission? <laughs> Got the font right. Oh, wow. Nice. Thanks for confirming. What's an example of that? Like this sign in front of us, is that the one with the font? All of these? <clears throat> Arizona tourist info, we might need that. Ask what font they're using. But then again with NL here, we probably don't need that at all. Awesome stuff. <clears throat> the water bottles right there. The reflections are getting more and more, but it's, uh, that's still kind of realistic. Are we lagging? One second, huh? Yes, we are. Oh my goodness, that's pretty low. Considering. Well, but we're not really maxing out anywhere specific. Must be CPU though. Must be a lot of objects in that area. Wow! This is one of those open pit mines that Alex was talking about. We definitely have to take a photo there. Thanks, Ka. Ingat. <laughs> Thanks for dropping by. <laughs> Thanks, Jack. I will enjoy the XP. I'll be sniping my way around it as much as I can. Have a good night, Robloxians. Catch you soon. Thanks for dropping by, man. It's a nice photo for this one. Mr. Feb. Alright. Well, I guess we can take one that's pretty wide. Drone shot kind of feels. Gives the depth of this open pit mine. Simple spam man. Hey Rohan! How are you man? Yeah, us Feb guys, we have to stick together. <laughs> I was telling the guys a while ago. I bought myself a birthday gift. Ooh, that's loud. But it's not something you probably will expect or something that will excite you as much as it excites me. <laughs> so me and Mrs. Clumsy both pitched in. We got ourselves a Dyson vacuum. And it's super cool. It's one of those pricey vacuums that normally you wouldn't um, think about buying because it's so much more expensive than the typical vacuums. But now that I've tried it, I can see where the price is coming from. Really gives that premium feel. And when you want all those chores to be as... Uh, all that adulting to be as minimal and as uh, least hassle as possible, you want all the help you can get. And yeah, the Dyson is definitely helping a lot in that regard. I actually asked Mrs. Clumsy now, Oh, you see any dirt anywhere? <laughs> Let me get the vacuum <laughs> before it would be kind of who sees the dirt first and who who can't stand the dirt anymore that they have to clean it. <laughs> Survival of the fittest. Vacuum! <laughs> so you youngsters probably won't be able to relate. But the, the more, um, how do you say, mature guys, let's put it that way, will probably appreciate it more. <laughs> the rings of that mine must have taken forever to lay out. You mean from a mapping point of view? Oi! What way station? Were we asked to go through any way station? One second. I think I was just cheated there. 
Well, there is a way station here, but I don't didn't see any notice. Did you guys notice anything there? Cheater! You like vacuums too? <laughs> anything that's hel that helps out with the chores, I like. Man, I'm getting pretty laggy in here. Look at that, 43. In these kinds of... Well, that's just unacceptable. Let's see. I do have the mirror distance at Ultra. Let's turn that down to high. See if that improves things. Yeah, that does help. That just gave me 10 FPS. Yeah, let's stick to high here. Must be too much. The single threaded CPU utilization is really hurting this game when it comes to the mirrors. That's why some people are requesting, like some people are complaining about the mirrors because they say the mirrors don't have shadows and everything and that's true. That's a valid request, that's a valid complaint. But as it is, the, the, the current engine is not very optimal with mirrors. It's very brute force. I can imagine in the gaming industry there are several ways how to more optimally render mirrors by now. But I don't know any details. I'm assuming there is. But yeah, right now with the graphics engine from SES, that's not feasible at all because look how much performance was lost just by increasing the distance a bit. How much more when you add all that? All those reflections, all those shadows in. Okay, here we are. Illegal to carry firearms and ammunition into Mexico. Feels like I'm watching an episode of Breaking Bad here. An episode of Better Call Saul. It beeped. Okay, I'm the only one who missed it. <laughs> Too busy. Dang it. Hey, wise man. The Dyson does suck big time. How many vacuums did you buy until you found the right one? Seven. <laughs> did that truck just disappear? Okay, some... We might have a problem here. <laughs> that guy will pop out, I'm sure. Oh no, that's, uh, that's okay. Huh, interesting. Oi! Why'd that truck stop? Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> okay. Might need a few tweaks here with the AI pathing and whatnot. 75 RPM. I think 144 now. <laughs> it's perfect. Need Mexican horn? Oh, right. Yeah. You have to make a mod about that. <laughs> I'm sure Z mod will put it in. Oh, this is nice. Wonky AI aside. Yes, feels really scary, huh? How many cameras can you have? Cameras and I don't know x-ray stuff. I don't know all the gadgets for checking stuff through here All the humps as well No one's getting through here without a hitch <laughs> How many humps have we how many speed bumps have we gone over? The Mustang hit him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's why he stopped because the Mustang hit him <laughs> Should have just gone on then goodness loaded trucks camiones con carga carga is spanish oh that's interesting because carga is something we use in filipino as well carga is to carry revisando tus documentos por favor espera gracias todo en bienvenido a mexico a mexico 
there's even a door. Okay, way station again. Now I'm seeing it. Now I'm seeing it. So that happened a while ago and I totally missed it. Wow, I was busy, huh? I blame you guys. Whew. Yeah, this area I think might need a bit of optimization. Pretty laggy. I think too many details. You can definitely feel the details here. That's where we need to go in one second. That's closed. Oh, the way station is inside like a building, uh, a gated area. Interesting. This way station is a pain. It does look like it. Something I wouldn't have expected. It's not just like a pass through thing. You really have to go inside a compound. And how do you reverse out? It doesn't look like there's a way out there. So you have to reverse all the way out again. It seems like. But at least we won't get that penalty anymore. Well, we, go, we won't get that penalty for the way station. But we probably will get a penalty for hitting another car as we're reversing <laughs> so <laughs> pick your poison 26 tons yeah look at how dark that is comparing here versus that one that just looks so dull this looks like without hdr goodness that might need a bit more tweaking huh okay let's see if we can do this in first person I have my doubts. Okay, the gate is opening at least. Might have gone through that a bit too fast. There you go. Oh, that doesn't look too good. Let's have a look. Yeah, I doubt, I doubt we'll make it through that way. Let's get an angle in here. Any mentions of Mexican boats will result in a ban. That's true. Oh, the gate is closing again. Don't close on me. Yee. That doesn't look good. Maybe it will be enough. I have my doubts. We can try. Until we hear a bug. There it is. Dang it. Welcome to Mexico. <laughs> oh man. Should have just gotten the penalty. That might have been easier. Okay, let's see. Come on, turn sharper. Don't hit this side though. Too late. Oh crap. Just push it. <laughs> Might have. I think I need blah here. <laughs> blah. <laughs> One second. Oh my goodness, I hate this. Wait a minute. Thinking of something. Can I U turn here? No, I don't think there's enough space, but maybe I can. It's like, let's try. DMP added synchronization to things like gates. Oh, nice. AI next. I saw a post from Truckers MP that they finally managed to fix those sound bugs. What exactly are those sound bugs again from before since FMOD got released? Don't think you can help. Filipino skills. Yeah. Oh crap, that doesn't look good. Oh no! Nothing happened, guys. <laughs> Just <laughs> kind of like I think I bit through half of my trailer there that no one noticed. I think we're good. Yeah, success. No one complained. No damage whatsoever. And now we turn left here. Okay. Phew! Goodness, never going through here again. 
No wonder the GPS was routing all, all the way to the east. Like, are you sure you want to go through there? Are you really, really, really sure? It took us like six waypoints to for the GPS to accept this route. Makes sense now. Can we go yet? What is 13? 13? <laughs> Ooh, pretty nice custom assets in here. And of course, they have the signature custom traffic lights here in Mexico. I think we still have red right turn on red available to us. At least in the game. In reality, I'm not sure. Obra en proceso. Hmm. Sounds bad. Zona de obras. Obra is... I don't know. Isn't it like obra maestra? It's like masterpiece. Maybe that means work. So maybe there, that means there's construction ahead. Is what we're seeing right now, maybe. <laughs> Ooh, train, Scotsman, this is for you. That was painful. You said it. <laughs> Austin Powers movie there. <laughs> oh my goodness. Give me a famous Austin Powers quote. If mod had the limited amount of sounds it can run at one time, so TMP had to redesign stuff to allow more sounds at once. Ah, because of the MP nature of it, I see. Sounds like horns. Air sounds, even things like UI sounds wouldn't work. Ah, so it would reach the limit too quickly. So we had to like re-engineer that, I see. Wow, that was tricky. Amazing how they managed that though. Hey Jaguar, thanks for subbing, GG, welcome to the stream, how are you? Hey Blazing, thanks for joining again, if only you could join me on the road again, huh? That would be cool like last time. So during our flight sim stream two days ago guys, Mr. Blazing got into the, got into his plane and flew with me, kept me company super cool group flights in a way um, looks like my browser crashed so I can imagine that the chat is not working anymore on screen rip can you guys still hear me at least <laughs> is it working that kind of sucks no <laughs> <laughs> what a troll. <laughs> I'm still up. Okay, thanks. But I guess the chat isn't working anymore, huh? Is the telemetry working? I doubt it is. Imagine if that butchered everything. Chat on screen works. Oh, cool. Nice. So that just probably refreshed or crashed for a bit. It's a bit clingy. And... Not as scenic as I would have wanted. That one is a bit more nice. Yes. Bridge shot. <gasps> that actually looks a lot better. That view. If only we could remove the blur. There you go. Perfect. Tilt it a bit. Make it a bit wider. That's so much. Something like... So, would work. Give me just a second. I have to refresh my browser because I can't see it anymore. Et voila, it's working. Good, alright. 
Yeah, blur needs to be off by default, I definitely agree. Blur is normally good for like real photography, like very narrow field of view, um, very, how do you say, low aperture or something. So you get that blurry background, but when you try and simulate that in a game, it never looks that... If, it, if you try to simulate it at all, it doesn't look right. It looks fake. So I'm not really a fan of blur in games. Oh, this is a nice road. I love the way this road was put together. Not only the road itself and the bends, but all the other things on the sides. Lots of things happening, right? Different kinds of trees, different kinds of bushes. Very natural look and you have all the signage, the chevrons here. This is cool, I like this. <clears throat> and it does feel pretty hot here. released a new truck a few hours ago Kenny released the updated T680 nice what truck was released by Peterbilt <laughs> he wants to remove you remove the on-screen on blah <laughs> that works too probably have trouble the next time we get stuck though no one to save us. Con el tren. No tren right now. Disney SG price is eleven ninety eight a month. Ooh, it's a bit cheaper than Netflix. But still pretty significant. I'll see if I stay long, but I'll probably get at least the first month. I do want to watch Mandalorian in one division probably. Ooh, ooh, that's a steep. Oh, goodness. Can't just do a flyby from MSFS in this game. <laughs> that's true. Oh, that's perfect, blazing. Oh, we still have that bug with the sky. The world is spinning, guys. Give me a second. <laughs> a little bit too literally. How's the time? Is it fast forwarding as well? Not really. Netflix is going up next month. Here it actually... The prices came up already here. But I guess it will inevitably go higher in price as the years go by because I think Netflix was, operate, Netflix was operating at a loss for the last couple of years not, I'm not 100% sure but that was my that was what I heard and they're basically funding all their ventures using like investor money so they're not really earning yet so now that they have people hooked now they're going to increase the prices bit by bit. Some will, some people will probably drop off, but others will be staying, and that's when they'll be profitable. I imagine. Bit sneaky, pretty smart. Sneaky. Yeah, have your graphics turned up for a reason. You don't want them to add blur to it. Yeah, true. If they can't mimic that blur that comes from the real, a real like DSLR or DLSM, rather not have any blur at all. Either built five seven nine. Oh, a new five seven nine. Why don't they use new? Why don't they use new numbers? <laughs> Overdrive Sky, that's the one. Do you play in VR, Blazing? I've never tried VR in trucking or in flight sim. I can imagine how immersive it is, but I doubt I'll be able to drive or fly long.
200 MB update. Hey, Juke. There is no notes on the SES blog. Ah, your guess is as good as mine. We'll see if you notice anything. Man, the lighting here inside is so good. Let's try again. Maybe now it's better outside. Now it's still super dark here. Compared inside at least. It might be the... Yeah, I think it has something to do with how the auto exposure logic works. Because like, you, you know that thing when you have a, a digital camera or even your phone? It has that auto exposure, right? And for sure there's some kind of logic there how that auto came, comes into place. And I remember from some of the digital cameras I've had before, there's an option for what kind of auto exposure you want. If you want that auto exposure to be focused or spot, like depending on a certain area in the lens or in the viewfinder, in the screen, that's where it will base all the exposure in. And everything else will adjust based on that spot. Or is it like an averaging? Like based on everything that it's seeing right now on the screen, it's going to get the average exposure and that's what it will apply. Here, I'm guessing what they have is more of an average. So when you are inside the truck, the, the interior is dark, but the outside is light. So it kind of averages that in a way. And so you get this kind of like bright outside. But when you're outside, you don't have that dark interior anymore. So everything is bright. And so the exposure adjusts so that not everything is bright. So the average is different outside versus inside. That's my guess, but feel free to theorize if you can think of something. Because I don't really know the technical details on what they do here, but it does sound feasible. Might be an explanation to what we're seeing. But yeah, I think it still needs some tweaks. <laughs> get back to chat here what's happening to Chihuahua Chihuahua is looking good still have that problem of the popping in mountains though limited by the graphics engine but yeah we still have that so it's a bit of an immersion breaker like when I'm we have some floating cars as well um, the problem is when I'm doing like time lapses and you see that kind of like popping in mountain, it's a, it kind of breaks immersion a bit and like I have to cut it, I have to choose a different footage instead. It's something that I try to avoid including in like the time lapses as much as possible in edited footage because it breaks away from the realism. It can be avoided up to a point by proper landscaping, like hiding things like this. Making sure that everything is hidden that is too far away so that you don't encounter the, the, the graphical engine limitation. But I guess there is only a limitation that can only work up to a point. And at some point you really have to show the, like the end of the horizon. And that's when the problem will come up. But here, actually that is being mitigated already. You can already see the far mountains there. So it's minimized still there at some points but thankfully it has been minimized a lot also did you guys notice there is no speed limit there was now there will be oh still nothing okay there was a speed limit sign but i guess in reality it doesn't really get followed so in the gps there is no speed limit actually have a good one nl thanks for hanging out and thanks for confirming the fonts appreciate it have a good one Sometimes we play VR. Not optimized well for MSFS yet. Yeah, my impression is it's too far away. MSFS needs a lot more um, optimization before you can play it in VR properly. Needs to be as smooth as x first so you get that proper VR experience. I think x has got that lockdown in that regard. Might be blocking some people's view, but that's okay. Nakozari de Garcia? I don't know what that means. Ooh, nice town. <clears throat> the updated 579. 
Hey, DH. Thanks for five months, man. Goodness, has it been five months? Freightliner sounds great. That's the Cummins X15. And I'm causing a lot of traffic here. Let's get out of the way while I'm catching up with chat. Um, one second. There you go. You don't have any issues in MSFS with your G2 in VR, but you have a good PC. Hey, Rezalo. That's great to hear. Yeah, I guess it also depends on your perception. If you're okay with the frame rate, then that's great. <laughs> your GPS is totally black screen there. <laughs> that one? <laughs> yeah, I wish they would be able to put something there. Because you can choose an in a kind of interior. If it's the cheaper interior, you don't have a GPS included. That's actually what I want. Because I want my GPS here instead. But I wish they would allow you to put something there like the, the, the cowboy or other magnets or whatnot. Just to have a bit of decoration there so it doesn't look too plain. Mm, blind spot. Our dog should take care of it. <laughs> they are actually not stopping at all for me so... Hear the blood? No, we're good. Okay, good. Phew. Looked like overtaking wasn't allowed when the red car overtook you. Welcome to Mexico. <laughs> the lines are just a decoration. Appreciate the sub DH. Thanks for dropping by, man. How are you doing? Yeah, I think the VR can be a very subjective thing when it comes to smoothness and if it's good. But I think when you compare the different simulators, the VR experience in terms of smoothness in X-Plane versus in Flights in 2020, I think that can be a very different world. Because even in non-VR, even in 2D, the smoothness is a different level. Microsoft needs to optimize a lot of the avionics especially. If you're flying like a Cessna 172 in VR, I don't think you have a problem. I think in flight sim that would be silky smooth by now. You fly the Mooney, that's no problem. But when you start flying those planes with the glass panels, you can really feel the stutter in non-VR. So I can imagine in VR it would be even worse if not the same. That's something they need to fix to get that smooth experience. And it's not a matter of hardware specs, it's a matter of an, up, an optimized coding in the glass cockpits. Let's turn on our lights here. Did you bring burgers or tacos for this trip? That's a good idea, we'll have to stop by somewhere. No burgers, but I'm sure there will be tacos on the side of the road at any point. We are in Mexico after all. Now he got me hungry. We actually had Mexican last, uh, well, yesterday for lunch. Enchilada and, uh, well, mac and cheese. <laughs> Probably not very Mexican, but you get the point. And I had beer again. After a long, long time, it was good. Tropical pale ale, I think it was called. Very smooth. Just perfect for the holidays. Snow Runner Premium Edition, buy it so that you can join Jack, Alex, Blah, and me. And we're fumbling about and now with the logging thing. That will be a treat. Oh, this is looking great. It is a nice look. You fly the A320. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, the A320 for me is very laggy. I don't even fly it in non-VR. It's too laggy for my taste. <laughs> it has too many stutters. Like low FPS is something I can live with, but it's the stuttering, the up and down of the frame rate that I don't like. 
so now I don't, I'm not flying the A320 yet. I'm waiting for fly-by-wire to optimize it a bit more. Your GP is quite old, so that may be a problem. They don't have hand interaction, it just feels a bit clunky. Ah, I see. <laughs> VR in Phasmophobia. Bye. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> I can go VR in Phasmophobia as long as I stay as, a, as the van man. <laughs> that much I can do, I think. I tried DCS today and it's really smooth in all settings. Oh yeah, DCS is one more. Yeah, I've never tried it because it's more combat, military oriented, right? But yeah, I've seen some videos, it's very smooth. Looks perfect for VR. Is rage included with that game? No, the rage comes from inside you. But don't worry, it will come out naturally. You won't even need to look for it. <laughs> Enjoy. Just ask Rob over in Discord. He has a lot of stories for you. All the way until level 11 or 12, you will be raging all the way. Man, I love these roads. Very windy. But not overly so. They're very mild actually. Nothing like the sharp turns. You know, that you need to like take another lane for you can still stay in your lane added extra itchy leg feel exactly scary thing in Fasmo VR is the player itself <laughs> maybe the 3090 you have yeah I have my doubts though not sure yeah because the, the smoothness can be very subjective Maybe I'm just too picky, but I don't think I'm, even the best graphics card can handle it because it's not the GPU that gets bottlenecked with the glass cockpits. It's not even the CPU. It's just something inefficient with the coding. Kind of does too many draws or does too many loops. Waits on some things. So you can look at your system resources. Nothing gets taxed fully. But you're not getting the FPS you want and you're getting that stuttering. <clears throat> like I think when I fly the A320, my GPU is at 60%. The threads are not getting maxed out either, the CPU threads, but yeah, you're getting those stutters. I think it's more a Microsoft optimization needed. But then again, Flight Sim, Flight Sim 2020 is very early on just a few months in and they have been improving the performance more and more so I have high hopes that they can nail it down at this point though I'm not super happy with it yet there is a lot of room for improvement still but I'm sure they'll get to that they are getting to it bit by bit so that remains to be my go-to simulator despite its current flaws because everything else that it can give all that visual fidelity and now thanks to bothers that aircraft immersion and study level feels it's getting there digital dash possible oh i think so because if you remember we have the actress mp5 mod that the actress 5 crew did that's a digital dash right and you can make that appear here as a mod so I don't think it's technically impossible. It's just a matter of working on it on the truck. But the engine, the graphics engine, the game engine, I think can handle it already. 40 FPS in VR. <clears throat> yeah, I guess very subjective smoothness is very subjective some people even with stutters it still feels smooth some people are very sensitive to it so at the end of the day if it works for you then great <clears throat> unfortunately it doesn't work for me and i'm talking about non-vr i imagine vr is a lot more taxing 
Is that a fair assumption? Or should it be the same load? Huh. Something definitely feels weird with AI. And I'm not sure if it's Chihuahua's fault. Because this looks like a typical intersection, isn't it? <laughs> so what the heck is happening with our drivers? <laughs> they must have gone to the clumsy school of trucking. Oh, look at that. Single axle trailer. Nice. A lot of VRAM helps as well. I guess so. Yeah, looking forward to the optimizations. Both from the modders and from Microsoft themselves. Blah boosted the server. Oh, nice! Now you're permanently part of the cool kids. Awesome. And you'll get that nice pink color once your sub runs out. Thanks, blah, appreciate it. The AI drivers don't have Mexican horns, that's why. <laughs> or maybe this is Mexican driving AI. <laughs> hey, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the channel. How are you doing? Feel free to join us in chat if you are in the mood. Lurkers are more than welcome as well. So, if ever, happy viewing. It's more taxing since you render one image for each eye. Right. I see. Yeah, that's what I imagined. be a great experience though I can imagine just not very friendly for content creation for me Sahuaripa uh, no idea they like the view Very nice. <clears throat> what emote is that? Spark Soul. You had a boost that doesn't wasn't really being used. <laughs> and you like the cool kids club. Nice. You fit right in. <laughs> Extra sour cream for your tacos. I like the sound of that. This is scary. One wrong turn and you're... Whoo, bye! No barriers whatsoever. You're on your own. The best they can offer are these chevrons. <laughs> Yikes! The sharps, the bends are getting sharper. screenshot not so sure but we can try hmm. maybe a wide view maybe from behind Is it me or does the camera move faster? I'm not sure if that's my mod. Because I have a mod which, which extends the... Like that, the limit. It might also be in increasing the camera speed. 
I like that. It kind of works. If we can rotate it at least. Kind of. Notice difference in the dash between NPA and stock. I was trying to look for it. I didn't quite notice it though. I think if I look hard enough, the non-NPI was a bit sharper. But it's not something I notice really, even if I look hard. I don't know why. Maybe my eyes aren't sensitive enough. Thank you. Too much truck. <laughs> it's been a while since we've made the jack shot, huh? Curved road in the background. Yes, exactly. Oh yeah, disappearance of the icons. I haven't yet. Let's try and test that specifically later. I guess oftentimes I would try to stay away from those icons before taking a photo. I've gotten used to positioning myself away from them. But that would be a good test. That's a great feature that they implemented. Why is this so noisy? Oh, because it's uphill. this point okay there you go that's what I want maybe they tweak this already because when it gets this dark I would expect to see my headlights now and I do that's perfect awesome I think they tweak that and when they go high beams I should see it even more yes I do cool Later, when we get across like a, a, a dead end with those floating X's, let's try to see if uh, we can test yeah if the if those will disappear in photo mode. That's a very smart move on their end. Also, maybe your monitor felt the numbers on the tap in speedo. Fuzzy on NPI, clear on stock. Uh, maybe, maybe. You also didn't see the raw footage. Oh, were you watching the one on YouTube or the raw one? Because the one on YouTube I wouldn't trust. The one on YouTube didn't even show the flickering, the shimmering from SSAO. I absolutely hated that. I, don't, I had my SSAO turned off. For the longest time because I was using NPI but one of the advantages of not using a NPI that's NVIDIA Profile Inspector for those who are not familiar with it the, one of the advantage, advantages of not using NPI is you can use SSAO but when I tried SSAO finally it looked so flickery like I'm not sure how we can say it for those who have ssao on do you also have it but if you're driving with it for so long maybe you've gotten accustomed to it i think you only notice it when it's your first time checking it out it's like how do i describe it it's like imagine if like the leaves on a tree are shaking very subtly very in, in, in very small movements but in a very fast manner imagine that across all the textures especially in trees and it's like it's like uh, everything is moving very like small movements but very fast so it likes everything is fidgeting so like shimmering but not shiny i don't know how to explain it any other way I think it had something to do with the shadows. The shadows that SSAO was computing was like causing those shimmers. Yeah, oh my 
goodness. And I remember a lot of people were asking about this. How does it look outside the city at night? Now we have an answer. That looks so real. And so scary. Pitch black outside. We need high beams here. Goodness. I think we need to sleep on the side of the road. But it's good that we can check out this night driving as well. Ah, yeah. Yeah, the raw one is more useful, but I, but I had to remove it. It's too much. My Google Drive was filling out. That's why I mentioned it's only there for the weekend. <laughs> have to buy the paid version of Google Drive to get more space in. Yikes. Let's get some jake breaking in here. That's more like it. SSAO Visual F Mod. Have you tried it, Alex? Have you seen that effect? Do you get what I mean? I did not expect it to look like that because I remember that was a sharp turn and no signs whatsoever. Because I remember when I first, when SSAO first came out and then when I enabled it, it looked better in my point of view. Everything looked better. But it was so heavy on the frames that it wasn't worth it. The slight visual bump was not worth the frame loss. But when I tried it now, the even the visual look I didn't like. So losing frames and losing visual quality in my subjective view was like a big no-no. So that, I, I, that was actually the worst in my options. Because I was choosing between NPI on, NPI off, or NPI off with SSAO. And the one with SSAO was the was my uh, hatest one. Very fidgety everywhere you looked. What is that Jake break out of sound? I think it's mainly the problem I'm, I'm theorizing. Now it's good, right? I think it's my pedal here. Because when you step on the pedal, the Jake break cuts off, right? And rightfully so. But when you have that like noisy pedal, so it kind of flickers on and off from 0 to 0 0.1, for example, in terms of the value that you step on. And that's probably what's causing the cutting off of the jake break on and off, on and off, on and off, from 0 to 0 0.1. So I have to step on the gas to like refresh it. I probably have to add a dead zone to my controls for the pedal. To remove that behavior. Puente Rio Grande. I think it's a shame not seeing anything from here, so I think it's time that we slept. Um, do we have time? We should have time. 94 hours. Oh, it seems like we'll be late, but that, and again, that's Chihuahua lateness. Sleeping on the middle of the bridge. Why not? <laughs> What's what time is it anyway? 9:42. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. Shall we do the trick, guys? Let's do the trick. Good night. Did it work? It did work, but it's still dark as heck. One second. There we go. Still pretty dark though. <laughs> and suddenly it's bright. Okay, I'll work with that. There we go. From 6 to 7, the one you saw when, when the light just appeared, that's 7 a.m. Before that was 6 a.m. So within a span of an hour, everything just blew up. Man, this looks great. I'm happy we chose this one though. That guy was sitting behind us for seven hours. Or more than seven hours actually, like ten hours. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Only Clumsy sleeps on the bridge. Now that's a bridge shot. Yeah, I think we have our thumbnail here. The fog in the distance only adds to the scenery. Not very photogenic, but I think it is very realistic. There's no hiding that. <laughs> yeah, that was a bit too obvious. It's good. There you go, bit of a tilt for dramatic effect. There we go. I'll take that. Thank you very much. I still find the lighting in the interior much better than when in the in the exterior. That guy's going to overtake after waiting for seven hours, nine hours. You can stay a bit more behind. If you manage to wait nine hours, you can wait one more. That's a very interesting wall. I wonder what material that is, kind of like. Bronze. Brass, I don't know. Shiny bricks. I wonder if that's a custom asset. I think it's the first time I've seen that texture. great yeah I do a see I still have the same setup I went back to windowed mode though in your ATS or ETS2 guys are you in full screen mode or in windowed mode Remember that in the in the graphics settings, there's like a full screen checkbox. They have that ticked or unticked. Because I found that having that ticked, so when in full screen mode and you do Alt Tab, you're always at risk of getting crashes. It's, it's very unstable with, with Alt Tab. Ever since DX11, I think. Full screen. You're will always in windowed. Yeah, recently I went to windowed. And it's good so I don't I'm not crashing anymore it's not minimizing when I alt tab but the problem for me when I go to windowed mode and I think this is like a problem with SES I think they made a manual workaround with the pixel dimensions I leave as like a small gap at the bottom of the screen that's like open so I can see my desktop wallpaper at the bottom of my screen in windowed mode and that's why I was in full screen mode. That was, that was the only reason. So now what I did was I went to windowed mode and I downloaded the borderless gaming app. And then I just set the, the game to uh, be borderless windowed. And then it kind of stretches, fills the entire screen again. So I, re I removed that gap at the bottom. And this is what I'm, with, I'm, I'm trying with right now. So far it looks good, no frames lost or anything, so I think I'll be keeping this. <clears throat> Let me know if you see stutters on your end. But yeah, I, I hated that full screen mode when I, the, the minimizing window, I really hated that, especially the crashing thing. I don't know exactly why it crashes, it must be some incompatibility on my end old graphics driver or whatever reason but it does sometimes i would even be like in the main menu i would alt tab because i forgot to set a mod and when i would in the game would just shut down i wouldn't be able to alt tab back in because the game would shut down on its own, on its own. it would crash already <laughs> while it was in the background i i couldn't explain it must be some dx11 hooks or something that is beyond me You never had crashes when you alt-tab. Yeah, it must be, I don't know, depending on the rig. With all the different permutations in a person's uh, system. Windows version, driver version, different hardware combinations. It's not always there, I imagine. But in my case, it is. It absolutely sucks. 
it could be yeah the three monitors could be a big deal i think that gap below is also something from multiple monitors i'm not sure if you have that though blah you have triple monitors right have you encountered that before because i remember before windowed mode was okay for me even in double dual monitors i think so that used to work for me but recently i got that weird thing i'm not sure ever since i got the monitors or i have no idea something changed and now i have to have that borderless gaming workaround to fill the screen but that's okay it's all automatic anyway so it's not that bad expect that guy to turn onto my lane always was fine that bar under shows up on one of your games but not on the other you use that program as well ah I see yeah the last update for borderless gaming was 2019 so if you download it it anytime after you should be fine I checked it yesterday <clears throat> now the only thing that I don't like about truck sim is the fact that it always locks your mouse inside the screen you guys would get, get what I'm saying for those with two monitors or more I'm sure you've experienced that you're in the main menu you have your mouse you want to go to the other screen and you can't you have to press alt tab or press something make another window active and even in windowed mode even in non full screen mode you still had that problem I think that's like a something that they coded in I've been trying for the longest time to make that disappear because like when streaming, when fiddling with things, you want to be able to move the windows easier. Move across windows. With truck sim, you always had to alt tab first. Like in flight sim, you can just move outside automatically. It's a bit of a hassle but I found some workarounds to make stuff a little bit easier like now I use the stream deck to open an app like if I want to use discord if I press the discord app here in stream deck it opens up and that automatically alt tabs the game as well so a bit of buttons saved a few key presses saved oh this looks nice I remember this makes me remember Grand Utopia like the, the cathedral there is that Notre Dame or something this looks like it like a very nice little town that has a large chapel uh, chapel might be too modest a word uh, church cathedral and I missed my turn hopefully there is no hidden wall oh this might be a good test for, the, for that photo mode let's see so we have the excess there if you go to photo mode those apparently now disappear they do nice yeah that's a great new update that always ticked me off like you want you got that perfect shot but those excess were in the way goodness yeah that was a hassle that actually looks like a nice photo let's take that good catch alex shows how much time you spend in photo mode <laughs> see if we can maybe turn on to here if not we might have to teleport Goodness, that stop sign was like. 
<laughs> it didn't twirl. It it wouldn't go out with a bang. <laughs> it wouldn't go go down silently. Yeah, the stop sign dance exactly. It take way too many pics. I take that as a good thing. <clears throat> okay, this time let's try to get as much space as we can. I might hit that pole though. No, we're good. Clear. All right. We're back on the main road. You bought the borderless gaming from Steam? Ah. I think the one I got was only from GitHub. What advantage does the paid version give? Might have to look into that. <sighs> We're watching a video by me on YouTube. Ah, perfect. Hey Rexer, sorry for the late reply. Glad you caught me here. Yeah, I was recently thinking about it actually. What are your thoughts about YouTube streaming? I know we revisited that multiple times before, but maybe things are starting to change. I actually was streaming in YouTube before, and then I went to Twitch for the additional moderation tools, just a friendlier streaming experience. I'm not sure if some things have changed now in YouTube, because in terms of like people in the platform, definitely YouTube has more. And when you're starting out like me, small a small content creator like me you definitely need that exposure and twitch doesn't have that anymore unfortunately i don't think people get big on twitch anymore at least not a lot of people do <clears throat> so in terms of growth might be stuck on twitch although it's a great platform might have to start thinking of alternatives so open to thoughts on that i remember last time youtube had a problem that it had very slow response times like the, the stream lag the delay was huge like 20 seconds or 30 seconds here in twitch we have like two seconds and even though the delay on my end is me because i, I read your messages late <laughs> but that's more on me than twitch or uh, on the streaming platform what video coming out today on YouTube? Mm, let me see. I think it's a Grand Utopia one. A coastal route drive in Grand Utopia. With a lot of plane spotting. I think we are driving the DAF XF. Whoa! Ah, oh, this is beautiful. Nice. Curvas peligrosas. <laughs> I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> Please no. Not that we have a choice. Next game for me to buy Control. <laughs> I don't think I'll be buying any game soon. I haven't played Red Dead in like two or three weeks. So it looks like I will be skipping out on games in the meantime. I was actually tempted to buy the, the Star Wars, the new one. It's like 50 off right now, I think. But yeah, because I haven't played Red Dead Red. I haven't finished it yet. Far away from it, so... <sighs> don't think adding another game on top of it would be wise for me. I tend to be the... Like... I don't like multi-tasking games as much as I can. I like playing games one at a time, finishing it and then moving to the next, finishing it and moving to the next, rather than switching to and from. It's just my style. It's friendlier on the wallet too, <laughs> so <laughs> I like that style. By the time I re I'm ready to move on to the next game, it's probably on discount already. Oh, the beautiful mountains of Peru. Oh, yeah, yeah. Love that. Thanks for watching. Did you get to that point of the video with the exciting takeoff? 
goodness in those beautiful mountains in Peru and South America is beautiful so many nice sights what the heck well that's on you <laughs> that was Jay that one yeah <laughs> joining in and trying to overtake how are you Jay good morning no worries lurk away man lurk away Mexican authorities knew I was around I was coming so they mounted the alto stop signs <laughs> That seems like what they did, seeing that alto dance all over the place. You like to watch streams on Twitch. Oh, that's good. The lag is still the same on YouTube. Ah, oh, that sucks then. Because YouTube has gotten better in terms of, like, you can get YouTube members now. You can, you can get emotes, you can get YouTube like uh, member benefits right so equivalent to twitch subscribers so that part is there now but the stream lag is one of the biggest factors and based on the youtube streams i've seen it does seem like it's still pretty laggy although yeah for sure we'll have more people in the community if we stream there Sometimes this lighting looks like NL. I agree. Yeah, I agree. Looks like great minds think alike. Reminds me of NL quite a lot, actually. That's true. Playing ATS in VR all day. Finally got a cable for X Oculus Quest 2. Ah. Nice. Oh, and tomorrow VR and FS2020. Enjoy, man. Must be one heck of an experience. Awesome. Play your game in full screen. You could open the Steam overlay and mouse over the other screen. Ah, I see. As long as there's steam streaming full screen game window. I wonder if we'll crash again. <laughs> that wall of text was specifically designed to make me crash. <laughs> ah, I see, because that will unlock your mouse and it will also unlock your screen. That's a good trick. Should try that. Have a good night, DH. Thanks a lot for being here, man. Appreciate it. Thanks for staying up late. <clears throat> Have a good one. Have a great weekend. It's <laughs> a pretty interesting sign. What did I get my birthday? For my birthday. What did I get for my birthday, guys? <laughs> Coolest thing ever is what I got. <laughs> 75 RPM vacuum. Yeah. got something that should help me a bit with adulting man all these cars overtaking huh you've tried borderless stream app used for streaming three monitor gameplay on twitch so you could see twitch chat in game while driving borderless stream is that the same as borderless gaming? Streaming 3 monitor gameplay on Twitch. Ah, so you could float the chat 
on screen while you're you're still playing on three, three monitors yeah yeah i understand that point makes sense and then you can like make those chat windows stay on top so they don't get over overridden by the game screen by the game window makes sense What happened to the monitors? Well, I said I would buy them, but I think it takes a bit of time with the processing of the papers. So ASUS hasn't gotten back to me yet, but that's still a go, yeah. <clears throat> but that doesn't really count as birthday gift because that's subtracting from the clumsy funds. <laughs> so that's part of the business. now how much does it say guys in the telemetry how many miles to go I'll take a guess um, 1200 am I close for those who are watching us or not familiar with the overlay that you see in the lower left you see it as viewers but I don't so I don't have visibility on the distance to go and all that other stuff I actually don't even know if it's still working <laughs> until you tell me that is 14582 the heck didn't we start at 2000 we've been driving for 2 hours and it's only been <laughs> 600 miles oh my goodness okay there might be a small possibility that we don't finish this job just a slight one <laughs> we'll see we'll see <clears throat> hold on it's going up <laughs> oi <laughs> 24 hour stream late well the the <laughs> The estimated time probably is not reliable given that we are in Mexican lands. But the distance should at least be accurate. <clears throat> we love the view here. Oh, these mountains. So nice. I wonder how this looks like in flight sim. You guys remember when we compared, or not really compared, but when we flew in flight sim over the... What's that place, Alex? The, the town that has a runway in the middle of the town here in Chihuahua? That looked so good in the sim. I bet all these other areas look great too. Would be nice to fly around them. I remember Eblem actually posted in that com in that video. He recommended some more routes that were amazing. I, has I have to check those out. Maybe those would be nice episodes. Chihuahua. To the left. That's where we're going. Very nice signage. Looks legit. Over 90 hours to go. <laughs> a strolly huh oh Puentes in Sonora no idea what that means maybe we are in Sonora now if anyone can read that let me know Puesto de Control Vehicular It was different sounding. One second, let me try and remember. Oh, I'm proud of my goldfish memory. Urique. 
Urike. <laughs> kind of fit in. When Astroneer. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> that sign looks like it's been through a lot. Goodness. I like that. Fell over and just got pasted back in. Someone probably made a run for it and snagged the sign. A fellow clumsy trucker. Twenty-four hour stream. <laughs> yeah, probably wouldn't last that long. This map is gorgeous. Amazing work by Team Reform. Definitely agree. Yeah, needs a bit more refining, I think, some more bug fixing, but for the most part, it's great. too fast though. That might be a fake speed limit. Oi! <laughs> it was getting so confused with the, the gears. Yeah, probably a dead zone. Let's try it. Let me add it out. If you go to options, controls, if you have a steering wheel and a noisy pedal like this, where's the accelerator? That one. If we add like one more layer, so that's no dead zone. If that's one level, that's two levels. That might work. Just minimal to avoid that noise. <clears throat> Welcome back, Scotsman. Where have you gotten off to now? Doing some more sales for Disney Plus. <laughs> 5k sound. <laughs> what does that even sound like? Sounds good. Wombat trucking, where did you get off to? Which part of Russia are you in now? Does anyone have news about Wombat by the way? Hope he's doing better. and bro mods nice <laughs> thanks Rexer what, what baby voice the episode one <laughs> I can't even load the video might cringe too much. Seventy off. Fancy. Lunar New Year sale. Speaking of Lunar New Year, I was planning to change my paint job in ETS2 to one of those nice um, new Lunar New Year paint jobs welcome the year of the ox it doesn't work in the open beta this looks like 1.40 open beta which is a bit of a shame maybe they, that's something they'll have to add in separately still feeling pretty tired but not as bad as it was last week 
Oh wow, nice. So he's close to being ready for a stream. That's great to hear. Thanks for the update, Alex. Yeah. Speedy recovery to Wombat. If anyone watches his stream, please send our regards to him. From our community to his. All the best. That's one of the good guys right there. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? What? 1300 miles to go? <laughs> Goodness, and you can't even turn on cruise control here because the bends are so varied. So if you ever get tired of the highway driving, that is usually the case, then Chihuahua would fit you very nicely. All the bends you can think of. Perfect. So what are you guys watching right now? Watching any new series? I'm looking for something to watch. I finished Expanse. I, I realized I didn't finish Picard all the way back. So I finished it finally. Not as good as Expanse I would say. I enjoyed Expanse a lot more as well as the Discovery, Star Wars Discovery series. I, I like that a lot more than the Picard one. But I guess the, the Picard one was more for nostalgia. If you enjoyed the, the older series. <clears throat> so now I'm looking for a new show to watch. Currently I'm watching Billions, one of my favorite shows. It's starting to pick up again. I think season 5 it's currently at. Very nice seeing those like schemes, the maneuvering in the businesses, in the financial world, and the, the shady things that happen in the background. Very relatable, especially with uh, during these times, the GameStop crisis. The Wall Street bets <laughs> kind of thing. Very much that world the billion series is uh, living living in. Ooh. Oh that looks beautiful. And yes, the lighting just makes everything look that much nicer. 22481 <laughs> Thank you for the accurate update <clears throat> You're welcome This is 1.4D beta, yes Trying to stay away from toxic comments. <sighs> and based on my limited interactions with him, seems like a very good guy. Oh, wow, that's beautiful. Driving through in seeing that like mountain just in front of you coming into view that is so nice gives me some like colorado feels <sighs> this is exactly what we need a relaxing game to tune out all the noise 
to, to tune out all the negativity and yes at sometimes that kind of negativity seeps in into our community into our streams but let's try and do our best to keep them away let's make this a, a sanctuary an escape from all the hate so beautiful that the, even the AI cars are not overtaking anymore they're just chilling enjoying the scenery even if we're only traveling at 20 miles per hour <laughs> and even if it will take 24 more hours to get to our destination at this rate <laughs> perfect 20 miles per hour on a 50 miles <laughs> 50 mile per hour road why not Mexican convoy is now a thing. Screenshot. A few moments later. <laughs> yeah, that's the perfect one. Margin call. Oh, I haven't seen that yet. Nice. Check it out. Is that the your generation kind of film? <laughs> Yeah, I haven't actually. Yeah, that's a good point. I haven't really watched a lot of like financial films. I guess the only one I've watched really was the the Big Short, which is very famous, right? Because of all the impact that did in real life, so people are naturally curious as to what really happened. Wolf of Wall Street, maybe. They forgot all about it already. Modern with air quotes. <laughs> I'll take your word for it. <laughs> Being singled out? Well, uh, in a matter of days' time, I'll be one step closer to you guys. <laughs> so, <laughs> I might not be in such a position anymore. that guy <laughs> oh my goodness catching you up please no in terms of age I think it's okay but in terms of dad jokes level maybe maybe not hopefully not <laughs> phase 3 levels when I read that I was thinking immediately you guys probably wrote the script on that one the phase tree from snow runner <laughs> beautiful Awesome to hear, Rexer. Thanks for the kind words. If you manage to watch him, please send my regards. goodness I love it maybe not so much the traffic but the views definitely but yeah I think with these kinds of bends even the Mexican drivers are scared of overtaking maybe the, the police car right in front of us is also helping <laughs> preventing those illegal overtakes Let's 
nice. So do you guys see anything you want to buy off Steam or anywhere else with all the Lunar New Year sales? What are you guys eyeing aside from Rohan eyeing SnowRunner? SnowRunner is available in Steam now, right? I think that's when you get caught in blah, right? When, when it got uh, into Steam. still like Steam best when it comes to a gaming platform. Very user friendly and has that built-in screenshot button. Helps a lot. <laughs> Conan Exiles. Please no. Speaking of Conan Exiles, well, speaking of survival games, there's a new one that released. It's very famous in those circles. Have you guys heard of the game? Um, is it Valheim? Not sure how you pronounce it, but it sounds like if it's Valkyrish like. Valheim sounds reasonable enough pronunciation. It, I think it's getting a lot of traction. I think it's even the best seller right now. And it's not even on sale. had a quick look though it is not very much to my taste I guess I'm just really quite over the survival games at least for now maybe if I haven't found the, the matching one yeah that one I think it's a survival game like Conan Exiles like Ark Survival Evolved but it's centered more around the um, Viking um, Viking world so to speak oh that is beautiful sunset across the mountains now we only need to find a nice scenic shot maybe when we make that turn let's try we have a friend that has it he likes it it's still in early access, but I think it's very promising. Viking mythology, that's the one. Two thirteen AM. Goodness. Have a good night, Rex, sir. Appreciate you coming to the stream and thanks for the kind words again. Hope to see you more in the future, either here or on YouTube. Catch you soon, man. Have a great weekend. Oh, that's a bit of a uh, party pooper, though. Looks like it still ends. There's still that problem that the sky box ends on the horizon. In some cases, we've seen that it goes beyond, right? But I guess it depends. That's a shame. One second. You don't like it. <laughs> Is that a sarcastic or a real I don't like it? So I had a look at... Um, I'm not sure if you know him. He's a big YouTuber. He's a big content creator. Slipgator. I used to watch him all the time when I was still into Ark. Into Minecraft. And he's still very much into those games. So he's been playing it recently. I watched a stream of his for a few minutes. To get a look at the game. It looked a bit cartoonish. What's up with the sky? Goodness. Is that the sky? Yeah, I think it was the sun. <laughs> wow, that was scary. And suddenly it disappeared. <clears throat> Tequila! not a fan of the view style you don't really like it view style meaning the the art or the camera view 
for me, I think the the art is not is what I don't like so much. More cartoonish than like realistic, which might appeal to a lot of people actually, just not us maybe. <clears throat> ah, perfect. There's a sleeping area up ahead. I think you've seen enough of nighttime driving. Actually, I remember a comment in YouTube. Someone is asking me if there was a moon in the night skies. Have you guys seen one? <laughs> Have you guys seen it? I don't think it's a thing, but we can try looking for it. We're almost out of fuel as well. Rip. I don't like it. Eight sixteen, come on. Yeah, you can take that. It's okay. <sighs> yeah, I think in general I'm just not into survival games anymore. Same friend got his 6800 XT today. Nice. How's he liking it so far? I'm still a bit pessimistic about the 6800 XT. Well, the AMD cards in general. I'm sure they're pretty powerful. But I'm still a bit pessimistic about the drivers. The AMD drivers. Maybe that stigma will take quite a while to get rid of. Where did that red thing come from? Is that the sun? <laughs> Seemed like a spotlight suddenly shone in. Not sure if that's like a mod conflict of, or really, that's really how it looks. Nice once it's there though, it's just the transition itself isn't very natural looking. But this one, I like this view. Bit reddish, but understandably so. Slow it down, slow it down. Thank you. <coughs> Loves it. Nice. He hasn't got it. I'm sure the score will be amazing. I think the AMD cards are very good with the benchmarks. I think the problem that I'm I'm at least assuming from it is the compatibility with games. In the games that it works well with, it really performs. But I think it can be quite picky which games it's compatible with or it's optimal with. And maybe that will just change over time with better software, with the developers taking into account that there's now an AMD actual like high-end card that they have to take, uh, take note of and develop around instead of focusing solely on NVIDIA optimization. Maybe that's something that they have to factor in now as well. <clears throat> Software problem or something. I think there has been for quite some time. It has been getting better though, I think, bit by bit. Maybe it's just not quite there yet. But the potential on that 6800 is something else. Does it beat the 3080? I think back during the time when people still were pretty excited about watching benchmarks when they released, I watched a couple of those. And yeah, the 6800 XT was a real contender. I think now though, people probably, well at least me personally, it's not that more 
do you say? Like watching the benchmarks can be a bit frustrating when you know that they're not available anyway. It's like it's too distant in the future. <laughs> they are useful though. Because when they do arrive, you would want to know immediately what you want to buy. But it can be a bit frustrating knowing that it's all theoretical, at least for now. Man, this entire road doesn't have speed limits, huh? Goodness. Fancy. Looks like we're passing through another town here. NVIDIA does out outperform AMD when it comes to ray tracing and DLSS. Ah, yes, that's true. But that's a very small percentage. <laughs> of the games that you're playing. And AMD doesn't even have DLSS, right? Or does it have now? Ruta de la Sierra. I think that means mountainous route. Or mountain route. Sierra is mountains, right? Let's take a photo here. Proper bridge shot. Look at all the, look at all this awesome hardware that you can't have. Yeah, I think no one feels that more than Alex does. <laughs> the frustration from that. All that teasing. That looks great. I'm happy with the one. Consistently stay on top first and be compatible with games then it will slowly start to earn people's trust <clears throat> Do we have our headlights on? Yes we do, okay Let's keep that on, we're on the safe side So you guys have any plans over the weekend? Do you celebrate Valentine's there? Is that a thing? Well, in the US it's a thing for some people, I'm sure. But how about for you guys? <sighs> the lighting is beautiful. Just so natural looking now. Yeah, it would be very hard to imagine how the 1.40 graphics mods, how they will fit in with 1.40. What else can they add? Have they improved the skyboxes? I actually haven't taken a hard look at them in a while. Mm, they look okay. Maybe a bit better? I don't know. Might be my imagination though. But yeah, I, I remember before it was very pixelated would be very obvious even from afar. Now it kind of still can be pixelated when you zoom in and look hard enough but like from this angle it doesn't look half bad. I like it. 
Because I remember even JPX skyboxes, when you zoom in hard enough, you can see the pixels already. You can see that it gets blurred. Because it's not like 8K or anything, which is okay. Because the game can really handle that very well. That's why NL has those occasional stutters. The files are too big for the graphics engine. Hope the B62 gets updated or you will sulk. Sorry, what's the B62? Oh yeah, Damien about PNG, yeah. You guys have been discussing it over in Discord, right? I wonder what will happen. I wonder what happened. Why that came about. So for those who are not familiar with it, the, the issue or the controversy. Project Next Gen is a mod. It's a paid mod right now. It has a free version, an old free version. But it also has a paid version, like an early access version. And as far as I understand, as far as I remember, if you buy Project Next Gen to get into the early access, that includes the version that you bought and all the updates the updates will be free i think that was part of the deal as far as i can remember that was part of his offering i think the major controversy is he recently came out with an announcement that it's not crystal clear what he means but it's either he will be stopping up to update it totally or he will continue updating it but not anymore the updates will not be free anymore which means you will have to buy the update now in addition to what you bought before if you bought it before something like that so it's still a bit blurry but he mentions that he will share more details by sunday but yeah that has been raising a lot of comments violent reactions from people and quite understandable Where did the Mac come from? Oh, the B62. Oh, the, the, the classic truck that you're driving that Alex influenced you. Yeah, that's a great one. I hope so because I want to try that for myself. So yeah, bit of controversial uh, decision there if that ever pushes through. I don't think I agree with it personally, but it's a bit of a gray area. <sighs> and at the end of the day, you are at the mercy of the mother. If they want to stop, they will stop. If they want to change something, they will change something. And the only way you can... Oh my goodness, that guy. It's a lot clumsier than I am. He actually merged into the railing. <laughs> I feel good now. I'm not the only one. <clears throat> you take pride in your bad influence. <laughs> As well, you should. that you can put power back to yourself is by well, your wallet mainly if you want to support that change then you buy the update if you don't agree with it then don't buy it the only thing is you've bought it already if you bought it already then <laughs> maybe just don't buy the future ones although yeah that comes into the, qu the picture again with the 1.40 update where do these graphics mods fit in? I can imagine for sure there will be less users looking for graphics mods 
more and more people will be happy enough with the default one. For sure there will be still the people who will look for more. I might be one of them eventually if you like are looking for a different twist, you know, different visuals, improve this, improve that. Just the general world of modding where you want to continuously tweak stuff. I can imagine that's going to be a lot less people than how it was before before 140 came out <clears throat> slow it down there you go that's very true shift in what they mod yeah that's very true instead of focusing on changing the lighting they could focus on textures or they can focus on improving the sky boxes basically whatever gap is left with SES with what SES releases that's most likely what the modders will focus on that's why we have actually maybe why do you guys think we have great sound mods out there? <laughs> I rest my case. <laughs> no. But uh, in, seriously, have you guys checked out the new, the 49X, the Western Star 49X sounds? Because I've been hearing in the forums that the sounds are much better than before. I'm not sure if that's what we heard already when we tried vanilla ATS. Because those sounds were, I guess, better, true, but not something I'm happy about yet. Like I would still have to drown them out with music or podcasts. <laughs> I can't listen to this to them alone like this one that I'm doing right now. It's not music to my ears, basically. Not yet. Sound, these god sounds. They feel, feel like they change the indicator sounds to for the better or for the worse. I didn't notice that. Oh my goodness. That might be bad. I don't see any fuel station up ahead. Crap. Let's have a look in the map. There's one here. Which is like... Next checkpoint time is 58 miles. The next one is 183 miles. Will we make it? Dun dun dun. <laughs> Find out in next stream. <laughs> what a cliffhanger. Now we'll find out now. Shortly. Uh, this looks great. I like this. Let's take a photo right here. Maybe. Let's see. Twenty minutes to do. <laughs> Why is that increasing? <clears throat> I'm having doubts there now. MP2 V6 sound mod. Ooh. Yeah, remember Max dropped by in one of the streams before. He I think he was even in Discord. Not sure if he's still around. But yeah, he's been releasing a lot of mods. Nice in lots of videos as well. It's nice, but I don't quite haven't quite gotten the angle yet. Unfortunately, that one might work. That looks like the truck's about to go off, though. <laughs> Damn. 
and 78 <laughs> close enough to 34,000 <laughs> sounds legit Have you guys tried the Mac B62 in 1.40? Is it is it that bad? I guess the the mirrors or the windshield are pretty bad. Maybe the flares too. try the Mac yet yeah same with me for any other truck mod I just assume that all the truck mods are broken right now I think that can be a fair assumption most of the graphics mods affect uh, the graphics updates rather affect graphics mods and truck trailer mods I can imagine I think I saw as well that the 50k there is an update to the 50k accessories I'm not sure if there was a conflict before have you guys heard anything? I think there is a 1.40 new version that got released for it though which is good so I think I disabled that in my stream my ETS2 profile for those who are joining us if you're not familiar with the YouTube channel yet, there you go, there's the link. Thanks Nightbot. Much more videos there. And the full footage of these streams are posted there as well. In higher quality. see that these bends these new roads I was initially quite mm, how do you say uh, worried is the word I think quite worried about going through these roads because I wasn't sure if they were going to be Mexican boat level <laughs> Mexico extremo level or if they were going to be Sierra Nevada level and what I mean by that if it's me if it's Mexico extremo for me how it felt when I drive through Mexico Extremo bends is a bit like a bit too bendy to be safe, you know, a bit too bendy to be practically drivable. It's like you can drive through it, but you have to occupy both lanes, you have to do some funky maneuvers. The Sierra Nevada ones, in my view, in comparison, the Sierra Nevada ones are bendy, but they are reasonably bendy. They are bends that your truck can tackle without flipping over or doing somersaults in so they are very reasonable bends and looking at the map only in these new areas I was kind of worried that they would be Mexico Extremo ones because we are in Mexico it would look like the under the Mexico Extremo wheelhouse but I'm happy to say well you probably see it we haven't tipped over yet <laughs> so i'm happy to say that yes these roads are bendy they are exciting but they're not unreasonable so they are very well within the truck's limits so i think i would be happy to drive through these roads without getting scared at every bend that if i am if that's the last bend that that load will be experiencing <laughs> yeah it might also be testament to Eblem's um, refined techniques that he now knows how to include bends that are reasonable enough that are not overly impossible to tackle. I think he's learned a lot throughout all his mapping. It's very nice. And I can honestly say that even if these are bendy, even if these require more of your concentration, you can just like go on autopilot, turn your brain off and think of something else. You have to be more present. 
it still is pleasurable it's not like a, it's not like adrenaline pumping kind of deal so it's still relaxing in a way it just needs more of your attention which is actually very good because sometimes I know a lot of people are bored driving through highways through interstates they're too plain they're too repetitive and if so then this might just be the road you are looking for and we are now in Chihuahua so is that officially the end of the new roads let's have a look quickly at the map might be because we've gone through yeah we've gone through quite a bit all these new roads right here we might have been old roads already ever since maybe it's my driving skills that have improved you think that's possible nah <laughs> that might be too much of a stretch let's not push it let's let's stay realistic here <laughs> And the AI is back to overtaking again. Gorilla glue human. Mm, not me. What's that about? Alright, Jack. Thanks for the accurate numbers. Gives me a good picture of where we are. I think we're somewhere in Saturn now. <laughs> Have a good night. Thanks for hanging out, man, and catch you in SnowRunner soon. Have a great weekend. proper speed limits again. One of the longest weekends that we've had here because the holidays are officially today and tomorrow but tomorrow is a Saturday and what other companies do fortunately what both of our companies mean is clumsy what our companies do is they offset that so if if the holiday is on a saturday you can move that like to the next monday so even monday is off for us a much needed break i guess in your countries you don't really celebrate Lunar New Year, huh? It's a bit more the East Asian ones. <laughs> mods in 1.40 with no issue. Hey Mike, some mods work, yes. I've had to disable some of them though, particularly truck mods and trailer mods I'm staying away from for now. But sound mods are working great. Map mods, some of them are compatible. In particular, this one, the Chihuahua. Update for patrons. But yeah, like John Ruda's trucks, off limits for now. I have to disable them to be safe. Because I encountered, even if you're not driving one of his trucks, because of the flares, because of the flares, mod is active it will affect all the other trucks as well this is the Cummins X15 yes by Krishbom 
part of his engine sound mega pack I believe this is one with my favorites it's not as how we would you say because Z mods is my absolute favorite sound engines engine sounds um, but this is not bad at all like I have no complaints about it maybe it's not just not as detailed as uh, like you hear the small very subtle sounds it's not that detailed but it has all the right balancing it 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 sounds good to the ears sounds like a real engine it bursts and has that nice bass so i like taking this truck and this engine in particular for long drives if only westerners knew the meaning of new lunar new year well there is google <laughs> that can help <laughs> yeah but they probably still won't celebrate it though not part of the culture I mean me personally we don't really celebrate Lunar New Year the Filipinos we don't celebrate Lunar New Year it's a holiday yes but it's mostly for the Chinese community in the Philippines the like the Filipinos themselves they probably celebrate it a bit, like eat some of the food, but it's not like a real, like, how do you say? It's more for the Chinese communities. But it's a holiday. I'll take it. Happy New Year. <laughs> I won't say no to that. It's the same here in Singapore. Not everyone celebrates it personally. Everyone celebrates it as a holiday. But it's more the Chinese uh, heritage community that celebrate it really. <clears throat> and all the customs. So for me and Mrs. Clumsy, it's mainly uh, a long weekend, which is great. We'll take that. It's kind of hard though back during the time when you could travel. Remember those days when you could travel? Remember those olden days in the past? <laughs> that was always a hard thing for us because Singapore, uh, it, this is the biggest holiday in Singapore based on the number of days off because all the holidays in Singapore are only one day long in terms of no work, only one day. It's only Chinese New Year that has two days off. And uh, so, normally, what people would do is if you're not celebrating Chinese New Year personally, chances are you're traveling outside back in the day. <laughs> but then again, it's very hard to find... It's very hard to find a place where you can travel to because most of the neighboring countries are also celebrating Lunar New Year and uh, that means most of the establishments are also closed and you can't celebrate that much everyone is home with their families so yeah it gets kind of hard to choose a destination Shh, very quiet <laughs> emergency refueling <clears throat> Nah, I just, I'm just taking a short break, guys. Just taking a short break. Off we go. Continue. <laughs> Electric truck goodness. Looks like we'll do. We'll need a couple more emergency refueling services here. The way this is going, let's have a look. 
Oh, it doesn't say where my next waypoint is. My bad. It doesn't say. a challenging thing looking or thinking of where to travel I think I told that story once during our first few years here we were so excited to travel for this long holiday There's just a short quick travel to somewhere nearby and we decided to go to Vietnam and we saw that ooh, the tickets are cheap the hotels are cheap looks perfect and then we booked some tours, we're good. And then when we arrived, it seemed like a lot of places were closed. And apparently, they don't celebrate Chinese New Year. But they do celebrate Lunar New Year, <laughs> which is the same thing. <laughs> so that's a hard lesson learned. So when we went there, all of the spots, well, many of the stores, most of the stores were closed. So you know, I'm not sure if, if you can imagine when you say Vietnam, how the city looks like, you have a picture that comes to mind. And for me, that picture is the city is full of motorcycles. Wherever you look, filled with motorcycles, the roads are filled. It's like chaos everywhere, but it's like organized chaos because no one is uh, getting into an accident. Everyone knows where their place is, even if it's like just random stuff. So I think organized chaos is the perfect description for that. And that's like one of the things that you look forward to because it's part of the culture, right? So when we got there, looking for the motorcycles, there was no one on the roads because everyone went back to their hometowns. No one was in the capital. <laughs> so you could actually see the road. It was a bit of a party pooper, but eh, we still managed to enjoy there were still some places that were open so it was not the full experience but at least it's something but yeah from then on we learned that yeah okay so we'll have to research both Chinese New Year and Lunar New Year which countries are celebrating that and it turns out most of the countries are here in Asia East Asia at least or South Asia I'm not sure how we call them yeah, most countries except the Philippines say so we could go back to the Philippines but it's a bit more of a hassle when you go back to the Philippines as a Filipino and I know that sounds ironic but there is more paperwork that you have to fill out um, it, 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 how do you say more about immigration as a worker overseas and stuff like that so it's a bit more of a hassle and so we try to save traveling in the Philippines where we're back in the Philippines for good stuff like that but yeah Chinese New Year is a bit uh, hard when it comes to destinations and like going to Europe or the US it's not the best decision either because you only have a few days you only have like three four days at most so going to Europe going to the US for four days it's, it's like a waste of money you spend so much for the flight you spend so much time traveling and only a few days you have then you have to go back again it's not worth it like at least a week ideally two weeks three weeks but anything shorter is a bit of a shame just more of a hassle than what it's worth so it's kind of like that middle of nowhere gap so I think recently if I'm trying to recall the Chinese New Year's we've had we've mainly celebrated here stayed here or somewhere nearby just a staycation and we're doing the same this year especially this year <laughs> so not going 
outside the country but going to roam around a bit more <clears throat> we'll see if we find some nice looking food or areas I'll share it with you guys in discord <clears throat> run exactly goodness it's 11 we won't even reach the the gas station maybe we can extend a bit to the gas station if it's not that far let's have a look well i don't see it I think it's still uh, no it should be did we pass one did we pass it is it this one <laughs> why didn't I see it okay let's go through this one let's stop there 88 miles extend a bit just so we have some closure Maybe I can stream the rest of this journey in Discord if I get a chance. We'll see. But yeah, looking forward to your streams as well. Either with or without voice. Just to share more and uh, keep in touch, keep up to date with what you guys are busy with. <clears throat> sure thing, Zib. Appreciate the company. Glad you could join and stay for a long time. Let's try and save fuel here. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I'm saving fuel by taking gravity letting gravity take me and not jay breaking so much might become a disaster on the upcoming bend though i might regret that decision slow it down a bit okay that's not too bad <laughs> thanks <laughs> Puente Banderillas. Interesting names. Nice views all over though. Can't imagine how much time this took Eblem. Because I mean a single mountain pass like this, like a single bend. If you count the number of trees, count the number of bushes. And then imagine that all of those had to be handcrafted. My goodness, how long that takes. It's just coast along. Oh my goodness, that's heavy. No power steering. Coast all the way until we stop. <laughs> oh, it's that red thing. Tower, yeah, tower. Come on, you can do it. Oh, we're picking up speed again. Yeah. Good thing the brakes still work. Kind of. <laughs> the longest coast ever. Coasting until the gas station here. <laughs> this is giving me a workout though. Goodness. I can't even have Jake brakes because no engine. <laughs> yeah, me too. Oh, 
how much we're accelerating here. Now this is silent trucking. <laughs> Perfect. Oh no, don't go uphill. Down, down, down. You can even hear some of the wind. It's very subtle, but it's there. Or the tires or something. Ghost trucking. <laughs> exactly. What's that guy doing? to slow down soon I think we dare <laughs> overtake a truck while we don't have an engine on that takes cuts nah, I think we'll really have to fuel up soon we're still going though man this is the perfect place to run out of fuel on still downhill guys <laughs> it still works let's open the windows don't, don't crash don't crash get a bit of the outside sounds oh yeah should have placed beds <laughs> Oh yeah, true. How has this not done gone down here like it's supposed to? I know, right? Scotsman would like the fuel economy. <laughs> so this is how Scotsman gets his scores. No, we're slowing down. Come on, just a bit more. No. Oh, I don't think we'll make it. It evened out. Let's close the windows for better aerodynamics. <laughs> I doubt it really changes anything. Oh, there's, there it is already. Oh, man. Oh, dang it. I don't think we'll make it. Unless this bridge goes a bit downhill. Push me. Nudge. I need a nudge. No? Okay, no. Oh man. In that case, overtaking me now. Oh, that's too sad. Fine. That would have been epic if we reached that. Fine, 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 fine. Close, but not close enough. Okay, we're back. And we're in we'll the stream here. <laughs> Once we get properly refueled. Yeah, me too. I didn't expect to coast that long, to be honest. We got lucky there. That should, that should have gotten an achievement. Like, travel uh, travel 100 miles while, while the engine is off. <laughs> or something like that. Where are we? Here. Where are we? Where's the entrance? Oh, this one, this one. Nice reflection on the side here. The glass. Finally, our truck can eat. It's not too bad looking. Nice Mexican gas stations. 
All right, guys, let's end it there. Maybe I can continue offline. We'll see. In any case, hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend. Catch you guys on Discord and appreciate the company as always. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Clumsy trucking, everybody. And uh, yeah, I'll keep you posted. <laughs> Have a good one, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye. Have a great weekend.